the objective of the cabinet assembly station is to assemble the base and walls of the cabinets. The equipment used at this station is the work table, roller conveyor, and the part rack. The tools used during this process are two staple guns, a nail gun, a countersink drill, a rubber mallet, a screwdriver, and a hammer. The materials used are all of the sides of the cabinet and the doors. These photos show the cabinet assembly area with the dimensions of the workplace illustrated in. The worker height ranges from 5 feet 10 inches to 6 feet or 70 inches to 72 inches tall. This shows how the employees interact with the workspace on a daily basis. The process for the cabinet assembly station is separated into three tasks, pre-build, finisher, and door hanger. The pre-build task is to first retrieve the cabinet top and position it on the work table. Then the employee gets one of the cabinet sides and positions it on the work table. Next, the two pieces are joined together using a rubber mallet. This process repeats for the other sides and bottom pieces of the cabinet. Then the cabinet back is retrieved, slid into position, and secured with the rubber mallet. Lastly, extra support pieces for the cabinet are retrieved and positioned on the back of the cabinet and the entire product is slid to the next worker. Awkward postures and forceful exertions are observed during the pre-build task. Forceful exertions are required to use the rubber mallet to position the cabinet components and forward bending of the neck and torso were observed while assembling the cabinet. Also, forceful exertions are required to lift the cabinet components with forward bending of the torso to retrieve the parts. Forceful exertions are required to push the back of the cabinet into position and to position the cabinet upright. Also, forward bending and extended arms are observed in order to upright the cabinet. The finisher task is to first position the cabinet on the work table in order to secure two support pieces on the back of the cabinet by using a nail gun. Next, the employee drills three holes into the bottom support piece and drives three screws into the holes. Then two feet pieces are retrieved and secured on the cabinet with two nails for each piece. The cabinet is then pulled into an upright position and stickers are positioned on the back with the employee's initials before it is pushed onto the roller conveyor. Awkward postures and forceful exertions are observed during the finisher task. Forceful exertions are required to staple the cabinet components and forward bending of the torso, outward bending of the wrist, and elevated and extended arms are seen in order to assemble the cabinet. Also, forceful exertions are required to drill holes into the cabinet components. Forward bending and twisting of the neck are observed to position the cabinet components while elevated and extended arms are seen to use power tools in order to assemble the cabinet. The door hanger task is to first pull the cabinet into the proper position on the roller conveyor and then position a clamp. Next, the employee lifts, carries, and positions the first door to be clamped on the cabinet and uses a guide or template to determine the final door position. Then the door is slid into position and four screws are driven into each hinge. There are two hinges on each door. The process repeats for the second door and then the cabinet gets pushed along the conveyor. Awkward postures and forceful exertions are observed during the door hanger task. Forward bending of the neck and torso, neck twisting, and outward rotation of the forearm are seen in order to secure the lower hinges with the screwdriver. Also, elevated arms are required to secure upper hinges using the screwdriver. Forceful exertions are required to drive screws to secure the cabinet components and to position the clamp as well. Mechanical contact stress is seen when the hand and palm are used as a hammer to position the cabinet pieces. Also, localized contact stress between the hand and edges of the cabinet are observed throughout the process. To summarize this process, the cabinet assembly station is a high-paced job that requires forceful exertions to lift, carry, position, and secure the cabinet components. Awkward postures of the neck, torso, and arms were observed as well. In addition, localized contact stress occurred when the palm was used as a hammer and when the hand or palm contacted sharp edges of the cabinet components.
The following recommendations are made for the cabinet assembly station. Investigate utilizing a Lazy Susan rotating disc for the cabinet when it is on a horizontal surface to decrease posture stress and eliminate the extended reach to staple the far edges of the cabinet. Consider adjustable height and tilt work tables for all three positions observed to decrease posture stress. Investigate mechanical methods for tilting the cabinet from a horizontal to a vertical position to decrease forceful exertions and posture stress. Consider spring-loaded mechanisms for the cabinet components to decrease posture stress and forceful exertions. Lastly, investigate power tools of other shapes, as in inline or right angle, to decrease posture stress while assembling cabinet components. This is mostly for the finisher position. Thank you.